one of the questions that people ask me is uh, what should I know about the theory of shell structures, for example? And what I always do is I refer them to this book, uh, Theoretical Elasticity by Green and Zerner. Now, um, the problem with Green and Zerner or, or shell books in general is that they are quite heavy going. Although Green and Zerner is not as bad as some. Um, and that's why I've got the other book there on the left by Dirac, General Theory of Relativity. Uh, and the reason I put the two things together is that if you approach shell, st shell structures using tensor analysis, which is what they use in Green and Zerner, then you have the uh, mathematical uh, tools necessary to understand the general theory of relativity. And in fact, some of the equations that you have in shell theory are not just similar, but they are identical to the corresponding equations in relativity. Um, uh, and the thing is that relativity theory is basically a geometric theory. And what it does is it links uh, geometry with uh, forces and stresses. Uh, and so, as I said, if, if, you're, if, if you're interested in shell structures, then start with Green and Zerner and the, you have the added benefit of then being able to understand relativity theory.